Jay here for Stratford Paddock. That's Andy Tate. Manchester United 3, Aston Villa 2. He's just come from Old Trafford. Andy, give us your reaction to a big win for United. A win that was needed. Yeah, it was a big day because this afternoon I was at the pantomime with uh, family. He's like, uh, Jack and the Beanstalk. Can United win? Oh, yes, they can. Can they lose? Oh, yes, they can. Can they win? Oh, no, they can't. But we did win, didn't we? And it was a from one pantomime to another. And it was it, it was a crazy day today, absolute crazy day. I mean, Aston Villa, it's like they, they come in the Champions League places and um, we give them two sloppy goals, absolutely two sloppy goals. And uh, the first half... It was really lackluster and disappointing. And United sort of started firing a little bit towards the end. You could see the urgency and the crowd getting in. But the the, the first half and the boos were totally justified because it <coughs> it was so poor, so poor. And I, I mean, I wasn't even I wasn't even giving them grief. It's just like I was expecting it. And it was just like because I'm still I'm still in I'm still in Christmas mode. You know what I mean? I'm still happy. I'm still having a laugh. I've been with my family. I've had a laugh. What the dog today as well is like. And you come to see a match, it's like, yeah, Man United have not lost a boxing day match in about twenty years. I think it's something yeah, like yeah, that. Something so like uh, that. the tradition was under threat. And um, yeah, the the defence for them them two goals, man, it, it's shocking. And uh, like you say, mate, accountability, it's, it's not there. And it, it's disappointing again. But I think uh, I think things may have been said second half as well. And uh, they, they, they come out, completely change, change Red Machine. And uh, I thought we would deserve the win. I thought really deserved the win. I mean, the first goal, um, what was it? Garnacho was offside. And uh, Va do love a good drama on Christmas, mm. don't they? They drag it out. Their keeper, two-footed tackle, should have been sent off. Uh, well, we saw the replay. I thought that on Marcus. Yeah. No, he got the ball first. I, I when I, when I saw it, I was screaming where you were sat there for a red card. But when they saw the replay, he gets there first and he gets the ball cleanly. So he t he goes through the ball, then he gets the, and also Marcus is sort of running towards him as well. So because at first I was screaming for a red card, I thought it's yeah. definite red. But then that's the reason I think that didn't happen. But the offside was so annoying. It must I hate it when I'm at the game because you never know what's it's going on. Millimeters, but, yeah. Isn't it? But we didn't even see the lines for ages watching it on the telly for a while, and then we saw there was it. no announcement even yeah. in the ground. There was not. There was no announcement, and this is what's naffing me off with with VAR. Go on. Nobody knows what's going. And as oh, we're awarded, when it's not awarded, then the, when we score, when we do score, oh, they're about to kick off. Oh, there's a VAR check going on. Yeah. The scoreboard flashes up. Oh no, VAR check happening. Oh, oh, complete goal. It, it's just, it's just no communication. It's like we don't know what's going on in the ground, and it, it it's, it's, it's so, it's so destroying sometimes. And uh, but the second half we were absolutely on the money and brilliant and and I would say I'll take my hats off. That's all you want. That's all you want. You just fight, and run, run yourself into the ground and play for the badge. And we we were well worth the win. Not celebrating as much. You know, you know what I mean. It was a good win, and it's Christmas. Everyone's bouncing around, having a good time, like, hugging each other like the old days. And um, yeah, and I'm 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 happy. I'm happy. And Ganacho, two great goals. Yeah. And um, a crazy Danish lad got the winner, and he deserves it. He deserves it. Work hard. I thought all the youngsters played brilliant today. Yeah. All the youngsters, even the ones come on. Um, I, I can't pronounce that. The defender who come on. Um, Kambwala. Kambwala come on as well. Uh, Get Dan Go. Dan on. Dan Go. Yeah, the ex president, yeah. the ex president elect from the nineties, and uh, yeah, yeah, Kobe Mainu, brilliant, absolutely brilliant, Ganacho. That that's what this this club this club is based on now for the future, and um, like you say, it's it's just been it's been up and down a few days. I say I didn't watch West Ham. I I, I seen the highlights when I got back because I was uh, dropping off presents in Cheshire on the car. You got concentrate when you're driving. So uh, yeah, when you get the notifications, then I have to notify you I'm coming in, and uh, yeah you. you you got to put on a smiley face, haven't you? Even though you're in a naffed off mood. I don't want to, yeah, I don't want to dwell on West Ham too much because that was disastrous. <laughs> well, it, it was um, a good game all round. You round. mentioned there about the young Danish lad, Rasmus Hoyland, getting his goal. How big a moment was that being in the stadium for that as well, for his first Premier League goal? Yeah, I think that was needed. Like I said, I just don't make him fire him on now. And um, yeah, it was a great goal. And uh, 
I can watch match of the day tonight We're, and have a, have a, a couple more beers. I mean, I've not drunk for three or four months and Man United made me finish a bottle of vodka in two days and uh, some will come for lemonade last night as well. So, uh, yeah, I'm going back on the I'm going back on the, on the clean on net for the next three or four months. That's how he's like, Man United drove me to drink this weekend. So I just like, you know, sadly, I got drunk Christmas Eve, got drunk Christmas Day and I'm sober for the next three or four months now. So that's it, I'm a... Man, you're not, you know, jackal and hide, man. Not good for your health. It isn't good for your health. Uh, I wanted to ask you what, this, what you think this means for Tanad because he has been under a little bit of pressure. The, obviously, the Liverpool point felt like a positive point. Then you have that West Ham game. Now, to get that win after being 2-0 down, we know we've got Sir Jim Ratcliffe sort of taking over football department or whatever. How big a win do you think this could be for Elliot Tanad? That was... It kind of felt like the game against Villa in the League Cup last season. OK. In the League Cup where, yeah. uh, I mean, the momentum... The atmosphere in the stadium. I wasn't at that game, but no, I watched I was it. At that. I was at that. I game, was at, yeah. but it was that sort of game. Yeah, and it's sort of like that was the that was the kickstart just before the World Cup, and um, but we galvanised on after it. And I just hope it can be a springy a springboard to better things. But we've been here before, like Chelsea. So uh, I say when so many come on and, it, and I'm and I'm shaking my head. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm being honest, man. It's it. Like you say. It, everybody's having a laugh and having a joke. It was like, what do you expect? I wasn't even get screaming abuse. I was just shaking my head. I'm like, see, I told you so. What, what, what's going on here? Like, it's just though. But the, it could, it can mean something. And let's say, could mean nothing if we lose to Nottingham Forest on Saturday, and we got an FA Cup against Wigan. So Ineos are in the house now. Not happy about it. And I want a guitar, but we're stuck with it now. And we'll see what happens in the next few months. They said the assessment will only start after January. The assessment's already begun, mate, because they'd have been watching that, telling you. And already, let's say, the dialogue, files are being collected, everyone's being evaluated, even players. And like, just suppose Ineos did pull the trigger, then you've got to pull the trigger on some of these players as well. It's not fair. No, no, I agree. One player I want to talk about before we wrap up for a clearance that was, was like a goal. That's how I celebrated it. Johnny Evans, 35 years old, and there was a clearance in that second half, which would have made it free all, I think, where he, he made a clearance. He made a clearance in the first half as well. You remember Delow put him in trouble, where he made a bad yeah, pass. Yeah, I mean... It's, Johnny Evans is just oh, rolling yeah, back yeah. the years. Oh, yeah, yeah, rolling back the years. Tap of the Martin and all that. You know, brilliant, brilliant. Just like, uh, what you call it, John O'Shea back in the day. That was good as scoring a goal at the cup end, but a clearance off the line. Yeah. So yeah, he was good. He was good. It? it was well needed. And um, it's just now like, we'll go on to the next game. I don't know what's going to happen. So we we'll go on to Saturday, Nottingham Forest. They've won today. That was a big, big win. Big, big win, win at Newcastle. Newcastle. Yeah, Ethan will be absolutely crying his eyes out in, into his brown ale so as well. So it, it's uh, it's been what um, mixed weekends for Premier League results as well. So it's that was a shock, and I'm seeing the other like, Liverpool one as well. There's say we're, we're sixth, we're three points off City. We've got two games in hand. Tottenham play tomorrow. You say could Villa and Tottenham fall away? It's possible. Yeah, it's possible. Can Villa last the pace? If they play like that all, for the rest of the season, they won't make top four. No, no, I agree. Because they were shocking. They were yeah. shocking. Absolutely shocking. And I thought, wow! They, I thought they would. I thought they were going to go on and score more when they scored the first two, but it proved to be a red ending. Yeah. So it, yeah, it's a, it's possible Tottenham and Villa can drop out that top four, and we have to maintain a consistent form. We can't lose any more games, mate. You like you say, you can't, twenty games left, nineteen games left. You'd have to win about fifteen of them. No, just to get into the Champions League. Yeah, you're right, bro. It's, it's, it's like you, you, you're talking a max of 70, uh, 75 points. Yeah. And we're on 31, and you you got to go on a run, man, now. No more crap, no more bullshit, no more passing the book, not not accepting responsibility. Just take it game by game. Like you say, you're on one game a week. Now we've got one one more one more league game. Then we've got one game in January because it's the Premier League break, in it, and yeah. all that. And then maybe two FA Cup, another FA Cup game yeah. as well. But you say, rest and rest by it. Maybe Martinez coming back, Casemiro. You might see a different United in January, so we don't know what the future holds. We've been we've been spun some crap on Christmas Eve to have that drop on Christmas Eve. Didn't like it, didn't want it with the Ineos announcement. PR spin. I've learned enough over you guys over the years to know it's spin, spin, spin. That was that came straight after the West Ham game. 
I've seen it all before, mate. Bought a T-shirt. I know the score. I know how the club operates. And it, like I say, it split the fan base again. So it's, we'll have to wait and see what happens. Wait and see what happens. We'll wait and see what happens. But it felt like a big win. It can be a big win. If Andy, like Andy says, we build on a, another big game against Nottingham Forest on Saturday. You know where to find Andy Tate on all your socials. Go and check him out. You know where to find me as well. Don't forget, we're going to be in Dublin on the 28th of December. Me, Housen, Joe, Nicola and Wes Brown. So go and check that out. Big thanks to Andy Tate. Big thanks to you guys. Don't forget to hit like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.